There's the key. Oh. There's a small fella. Hey, buddy. Are you stalking me? You spooky ghost? How's it going, everybody? Speaker here, and welcome back to Witching Hour, a psychological horror game where we are trying to just rebuild our lives on a small little farm while dealing with a spooky death cult. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're gonna get right into the video now, and I think we're finally gonna hit the demo content, because I'm pretty sure it shows up in Chapter 2. Let's find out, shall we? Enjoy the video. Alright, yeah, here we go. Chapter 2. Ugh, looks like I slept in again. Why am I still so tired, then? Probably, Rose, because you read a cursed book. That might do it. My hair clip is missing, too. I should check Emma's room. She better not have been in here again. Let's say she probably was. Or it was Lucilla being a weird spooky ghost and just stealing your shit. Who knows? Right, let's head to Emma's room, see what she has to say, and, uh... Oh god, this door-dragging mechanic is so, so much pain. Okay, there we go. I don't know why, but to open the door, we have to move the mouse away from us. To close it, we have to move it towards us. It makes no sense to me. But on the opposite side, it works just fine. Okay. Oh, what the hell is going on here? It's already a mess. Oh, what the hell? Strange drawing. No sign of my hair clip in here, anyways. Oh, are we the possessed ones, or maybe Emma is possessed? That looks like some spooky demon shit right there. Hmm, okay. Did we accidentally possess get our sister possessed instead? I hope not. Uh, we got some paintings here. I'm assuming that's the mother. We got another chain is missing, or another few chains by the looks of it, and this thing is nearly open. Oh, someone came into the house, hello? Anyone about? Oh, there's the dad. Hello. Rose? Yo, what's up? Sorry, I slept in. It's fine. You girls have been working hard lately. You two could use a day off. Why don't you spend the day with your sister? I won't say no to a day off. Good to hear. I'm not feeling well, so I may rest inside today. This man sounds like he's actually dying. Okay. Rest up, and let me know if you need anything. Yeah, sure thing. Right, I guess we have to go, like, deal with the sister. I'm pretty sure this is actually us going to the other place, then. <laughs> the Eastern Village, I think it is? I'm not sure. Let's find out. Hello, small child, are you around here? I have to pay attention to you today. Oh, there she is. She's looking at the chickens. Yo, Emma, we got shit to do. Let's go. So these are the chickens you and Dad got the other day while I was at the parish. Do you like them? <sighs> I guess. At least you're interested in something other than drawing. Let's spend the day together. How about we walk by the pond? I saw one on the map east of here. Okay. I also noticed a drawing of a woman in your room today. Stay out of my room, jerk. Ah, come on. Sorry, I thought you took my hair clip again. So, who is she? She's just someone I know. You know a creepy, like, alien, well, not alien, but a creepy ghost creature? You don't know anyone. Where did you meet her? She talks to me sometimes in my dreams. Oh, okay, yeah, we definitely cursed the kid, 100%. You mean like a nightmare? They're not nightmares. She's nice to me. Her name's Lucilia. Oh, no. Lucilia? Where did you hear that name? She told me. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Strange. Huh? Nothing. This is the point where I would say we should get the hell out of here. Screw the fucking farm. Let's just get out of here. Up. 
Jesus Christ, she is just glued to me. Kid, can you can you go away? What the hell? <laughs> okay, we have to walk by the pond. Uh, where's the pond even? It's just on the other direction here from us. All right, kid, let's go. We're gonna go for a nice little walk. I think this is the pond. This must be the pond. It's the only other water source in the game, actually. Yeah. Guess we just walk along here and see what Emma has to say. Hmm. It looked more impressive on the map. Let's keep going. Yes, let's. Are we allowed to go further? What Dad doesn't know won't hurt him. And we'll also get us possessed. Now, as you boys know, I don't really like doing longer episodes. So I think we may end up obviously doing half this level and then half the level if, well, if it is long enough anyway, after in another video. So if it ends up being the case, if we just do part of what we see in the demo and then we continue it next time, that will probably be very well the case. I said, I don't really like doing super long episodes. So it's, it's actually working out well so far. So we'll have to see how it goes. Thankfully, she's actually a bit farther away now. Jesus Christ. She was just glued to me before. And I think we're going to go in here, even though we're probably not supposed to. So let's do that. Eastern Village. I'm pretty sure as well this is where the dad told us not to go. So this is going to be a terrible idea entirely. <laughs> And you said we never hang out. Yes, this is the start of the demo content. The whole day together. The only reason we're doing that is because Dad kicked us out of the house and you were bored. True. Both things can be true. What is this place anyways? I don't know. It just says Eastern Village on the town map. Looks like it's seen better days. Everything in this town is old. I hate that we live here now. What are we supposed to do if we run out of money? She has a point. I may have some ideas. What? Sell me to the circus or something? No. We bought you from the circus, and they have a strict no-return policy. Oh my fucking god. Ha ha. Can we play hide-and-seek? Please. We came all this way. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, but don't go too far. It's already getting late, and we need to be back before it's dark. Jeez, they make it sound like they were walking for hours, but it was like five minutes, not even. No okay, so we know most of the demo content, so we'll see how far we can get. And then, um, we'll Ready end the episode not. if we Here get too far, or, well, not enough, or there's not enough time. Yeah. So, if I remember correctly, we have to start out heading this way. Perfect time to start raining. It is. So, we want to head in here, I believe, and help this guy. Because, uh, yeah, this is this is literally demo content, so we'll try and, like, move through this as fast as possible. Can I help you? Oh, my God. Uh, sorry. I, I didn't think anyone lived out here. Not many do. It's usually just people passing through. I assume you came with that girl. The one in the leather jacket. Yes, yes, I did. Um, yeah, that's my little sister, Emma. We were just playing a stupid game. I saw her crawl under the fence the historical society the big house northeast of here she really shouldn't have gone in there she probably shouldn't have yet oh thanks for telling me i should be on my way then to go get her gates locked and you probably won't fit under the fence but i can help you i just need something first yeah sure thing buddy i'm down to help you seem chill sure what do you need there's a small house east of here. I'll give you the key for the front door. Something very important to me is in there. Retrieve it, and I'll help you open the historical society's gate. Can you do this for me? I would do it myself, but I can't. No worries, bud. Small I got house you. East of here. Okay, what am I looking for exactly? Um... 
Hello. Well, that was not helpful at all. All uh, right. So, do we get the key? Yeah, we got the key. Right. So, we got to go to the house east of here, which I know how to do my directions. It should be this is historical society, so it should be this one right here. Like, I remember most of the demo content because uh, we did it actually rather recently. Like, I think most people did the demo a while ago, and uh, I ended up only doing it like a month or two ago. So I kind of have an idea of what to do for the most part. So we can actually probably race through this in no time at all. Okay, there's something in here that guy wants. Shouldn't yes. Shouldn't be too complicated, right? And it has to do with these things right here. So I just need to find the correct symbol to the um, actual painting item. I'm pretty sure it's paintings as well. So let's look around and see if we can, like, do this. I'm not sure if there's anything actually different uh, in this actual playthrough. But we'll have to see. The first one, which is this right here, has our fella with his arm down like... That. There we go. Now, uh, there's nothing else in here. Oh, yeah, here we go. The second one is that. So we want to open that door. Then go here. And this one, the middle one, is locked. Things like that, yeah. And then we want to get out of this puzzle because I don't know why the game's lagging me out there. And then the final thing we need to do is we need to learn this code here. Ask the dolls. I think if I remember correctly, we've got to look for some dolls or something. And they have the code written on them. I could be wrong. But honestly, I don't remember a lot of this. I remember enough to kind of get by, but I don't remember a lot. Looks like it's locked. Maybe I need a key or something. We could just brute force it, actually. So, like, if we... You know what? Let's just brute force it. Because I can do that. I am known for doing that. There we go. <laughs> that didn't take too long at all. Holy shit. There's the key. Oh. There's a small fella. Hey, buddy. Are you stalking me? You spooky ghost? Oh, okay. Oh, there was the painting. I didn't even fucking see it. Huh. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. I don't remember this. This is a bit more spooky than I gave it credit for. Now, I'm not sure what the story is with half the characters. Or if that's actually him. That guy. Um, is actually him. Because... It feel like... Oh. Oh, okay, shit. That I did remember happening. Okay. Uh, Gnosis. Cool. Let's get out of here. Uh, huh. Okay, so they've added a bit more since we were last in this. E-N-O-S-I-S. -S. Yo. I figured that, um... That fella wouldn't be right. following me, let's but I don't remember him actually doing this. This is new. Historical society. Okay, let's give this to your man. Yeah, that's a good idea because I want to get out of here. This place is spooky as it fucking is. There you go, buddy. There's your photograph. Hey, friend. How's it going? Sorry, I just need the key if that's Hello? okay. That gate key. Man has a mask on him too. I don't know why he's pretending to be a doll. That's kind of creepy. But uh, let's get through this as fast as possible, shall we? <gasps> oh, fucking hell, man. Really? Okay. Oh, okay. You are moving around a bit too much and I don't like it. Oh, right, we get this puzzle with the, um, tarot cards. I think I remember this one. It's something like, uh... Oh, where was the letter for it? It's the letter here. Yeah, here it is. 
The beast sits in the corner of this long forgotten land, one soul's furthest and above him, fragility in hand. Neither above or below the two, a soul swings bare, galloping on high, a dark Roman can't help but stare. A soul pained in thought, lays furthest from the pale, while two souls between darkness awaits bell and veil. So, the beast sits in the corner, aka the devil. That, there we go. I knew I would remember it, kind of. <laughs> and then we can use the cabinet door to get the key, I think. The pliers, even. Uh-oh. Hey, buddy, how's it going? I don't know why he's like super menacing like this, considering we oh helped him. With shelf. That's useless. Hey, friends. Can you not spook me? That photograph you found is very important to me. No worries. You didn't have to help me, but you did anyway. I won't forget this. No worries, friend. Can you just let me go now? See his chillin' stand on his bed. He isn't gonna talk to me anymore. Alright, cool. Let's get the fuck out of here. And then we can use the pliers on here. He and then we Oh fucking hell, dude! Can you not? She shouldn't be in that house. No worries, I'll get her out. Fucking hell. Okay. Well, Creepy. Let's find them and get out of here. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do exactly that. So it definitely feels like the demo has been a bit more refined, or the demo section has been a bit more refined since we last did it. That was actually terrifying. <laughs> right, we got the key. Let's get into the house and then uh find Emma and get the fuck out of here. Okay. We need a candle or a light or something. There's this here. We need a crowbar for this, if I remember. My bare hands. Of course we want. So, yeah. We need a... There's also a lantern we can get, if I'm correct. Too dark to keep going this way. Wasn't there, like, supposed to be a lantern or something we picked up? I'm not sure. Ah, yes. Here it is. Lovely. Alrighty, cool. Oh, and the black figure is gone from the painting now. That is very unfortunate. <laughs> oh no. I don't remember seeing that. <laughs> oh yeah, if I remember correctly, we've got to do the clocks to the uh, wheels. So we'll have to remember that too. There's a lot I do remember, but at the same time, a lot I don't remember about this, um, level. So we're gonna have to do some serious, uh, remembering. Yeah. Okay, so, um, here we go. So this is the clock, the LT, and the stocks. And it's a shame I just don't remember the number off the top of my head, or I will just guess it. <laughs> but, uh, oh my god, this door system is so annoying. So yeah, let's head up here. I guess we're gonna get straight into the spooks. Upstairs, that spooky bitch is probably getting ready to jump scare me. Oh hey! How's it going? I'd rather not, if I'm being honest, mate. I'd rather not. Okay. Plan this puzzle. This one is easy. Uh, Mars, Venus, Mercury. Uh, I think it's Jupiter is next. And Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. There we go. I know my science. 
Oh, and this opens this door, I'm pretty sure. No, it doesn't. Never mind. Oh, it gives us this. The key. And I think we use a small key here. No, we don't. Um, small. Oh, the small key is used here. Here we go. Yeah. I do remember these puzzles quite well. God, that door mechanic is a pain, though. There's the crowbar, too, which we need. And I'm pretty sure the second time thing is around here as well. I think it's in there, actually. Yeah. So let's get the fuck out of here. Before a spooky bitch comes back. Oh, no. Okay, everything's okay. She's not here. I do remember there's a jump scare here. And I'm not ready for it. <laughs> fuck yeah. Get out. Uh, I will soon. Sorry, I'm kind of busy. Looking for my dumb sister. Oh my god. Even though I've done it before, the demo content is still spooky as fuck. Oh yes, look, another cursed letter. Oh wait, no, this is the music this time. It's not the cursed letter. I still don't know why Rose decided to read said cursed letter. She's fucking insane, but sure look, you know. If that's how you uh, do your pastimes these days, by reading cursed letters and getting yourself cursed. There's no one who can stop you. But you're fucking stupid. Largely, you're fucking stupid. But there is also no one who can stop you. Trying to... Hey, Lucilla. We... Oh, we can't turn that off. Right, so we got the one there. I'm trying to remember where the third um, time is. There's one here. There's another time maybe in here? I'm not sure. Because we want to find all three of them just to make sure exactly where they are. And I don't go looking around for them for ages, you know? So, let's head up. Stairs again, where we're likely going to get jump scared. Cause this game fucking look. I'm not answering that. Go away. That's my answer. I'm not answering. Go away. Ah, uh, here we go. Guillotine in the times. 10, 9.55 for the guillotine. I remember this. So, guillotine is 9.55. Time to see if those piano lessons paid off. Good job, Rose. I mean, we have access to this door, but now all the spooky entities know we're here. I don't know why my thing was facing up like that, but whatever. Okay, so our second time is the rack at 5.15. So we just need to head back now. And I know Lucilla's gonna jump out and spook me here. So I remember this all too well. Lucilla, there? Hello? Moths are here. Oh god, hello! <laughs> now the fan. Okay. Cool story. Fuck you, you spooky bitch. God, let's get the fuck out of here. And this one is seven... This is 12.35. So, uh, wheel is 12.35. Here's our puzzle. 
so. Um, right. If I remember this correctly, how we do it, is I gotta press escape text to the puzzle for some reason, is the ring it's marked as is the one we've gotta turn, and then we gotta ma match it all up. So if we look at it, the wheel is the smallest ring. So the wheel is 12.35. Then the guillotine is the middle one, and the guillotine was 9.55. I 100% took this down so I would remember it. And then the third one was 515 if I remember. So. There we go. Never underestimate the power of taking notes during horror games, boys. Now we just need to get the fuck out of here before Lucilla shows up. I guess we don't need to worry. We can just like keep moving. And hope. Oh wait, yeah. If I remember correctly, we need to go in here. You can hit this switch. Emma. Uh. Oh, looks like there's no power. We have to turn on the power first. And then we hit that switch. To move this thing here. Yeah. Got to make sure that Emma. Oh. Game. Please don't do me like this. I literally am just remembering the puzzle so I don't have to worry about this shit. And you keep turning off the lantern on me and I don't like it. Okay, time for basic maths. So, both of these combined together equal 120. So this is like 10 by 12. Then, these plus this equals 122. So this is 2. And then, this... Multiply by this plus this equals 50. So this is 2 multiplied by whatever this is. So we do 1 and 48. Yeah, there we go. I remember my puzzles. Oh, this is like the best I'm going to do in this game because like next chapter we obviously haven't tried. So I will not fucking know what to do. I think Emma's hiding in here. Seems to be jammed. Yeah, of course it is. It's not her just like holding it closed. And yeah, now we go into their secret society basement, which definitely isn't a uh, spooky cult place. That doesn't sound good. What's this? This is somewhere we probably shouldn't be. Let's be fair. It really is somewhere we shouldn't be. Oh, it's a pair of eyes there. No way it's not. It's this. this. Fuck. Is this the other church? I literally got jump scared by this the last time thinking there was someone watching me. How the fuck did I fall for it again? God damn it. Okay, another one of these puzzles. Easy peasy because I love these kind of puzzles. We do this. We do this. No, wait. Uh, yeah. We do this. I am actually so good at puzzles. Holy shit. Not to toot my own horn here, but goddamn. Okay, I can't remember what this did. Uh, oh, wait. I'm pretty sure we now have to go this way. Yeah. And all these candles are going to light up, right? Yep, okay. If I saw this, I would just be out of here. I don't know why she is continuing down this path. This is a terrible idea. Cage is here. And there's some torture chambers. Exactly what you'd want to be doing. Volunteering our blood doesn't have the same effect as it did with that man. Start with drifters or anyone not from town first and keep it quiet. Oh, so they were doing sacrifices. Yeah. And we were stupid enough to fucking stay. This place is full of these things. I'm not dreaming this time, though. Witch totem. Okay. I shouldn't be in this place. I should get out of here. We should. Also, this is the only different thing, I think, outside of the smile thing. If I remember correctly, in the demo, we got Lucilla's... Grim... That just opened up. Let's leave. Let's fucking leave. If I remember the... 
There she is, you little shit. Come back here. But if I remember the demo, we uh we got Lucilla's Grimoire. I fucking knew it. Emma! What are you doing down here? I saw you open the basement door, so I followed you down here. You shouldn't have snuck into this house. And the mask? What are you wearing? It's a pig's mask. I found it in that weird room. There's a bunch of them. I was just trying to scare you. Oh, please don't. This place is spooky. Just take that thing off and we can talk about this later. Let's get out of here. Yeah, please take it off. It's fucking weird. Okay, so yeah, largely it was the same, except I think there was some more silent guy stalking you bits, and they changed where Lucilla's grimoire was to the witch totem. So we didn't really miss anything. Damn, it's gotten so late, and this storm is so much worse. Unfortunately. Let's not risk taking a shortcut and just go back the way we came through the pasture. And let's not tell Dad about what happened today. He's stressed out enough. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. Alright, kid. Let's go. Let's just get out of here. I honestly think at this point we should just fucking leave. Like, I mean, straight up. Emma, can you tell me more about your friend Lucilia? Yeah, please. You're just going to make fun of me. No, no, I'm not. I swear. I promise I won't. She lived in a house like ours, in the woods north of here, next to a lake. What else does she tell you in your dreams? She said she had gifts that could change things. Or even people. Hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't trust that. That sounds like a drug dealer. Has she ever talked to you about witchcraft or anything like that? I don't think so. Why is she talking to you? She said her friends brought her to our house, and that if I live there now, I must be a friend of hers too. Friends brought her to our house, okay. I think your friend Lucilia is just a figment of your imagination. That's not true! Sometimes when you and Dad are working outside, she'll knock on the wall to let me know she's there. So there's a creepy demon living in our house, cool. Emma, I don't want you talking to Lucilia anymore. Yeah, someone tells me Emma's not going to listen. Let's be fair. I mean, common sense would be you would just show her the grimoire, right? Yeah, well, you your friend was a spooky witch, and she's probably trying to steal your body. Okay, so Emma's just gone to uh thing. We gotta go talk to the dad, who's likely upstairs. I really hope we get to use that shotgun, because it's gonna come in handy, I think. Oh, and the chains are gone. <coughs> oh, okay. Hope this guy's not dying on us. Hey, buddy, how's it going? What are you writing? Ah, Rose. Never mind that. How was your day? You two were gone for quite a while. Um, spooky. It was very spooky. We walked to the small village east of here. I met a very strange man, and the houses there were nightmarish. I think something happened in this town since you grew up here. So people do still live here. You made it sound like this town was abandoned after getting back from the parish. This town is abandoned. Something bad happened here. I mean, just because one person lives here doesn't mean that it's, like, a lively town with people living in it, let's be fair. Have you found a key for that locked door in the hallway? No, I haven't. I tried forcing it open, but those chains are on tight. Can I break it open? <laughs> I know I'm not as strong as I used to be, but if I can't open it, I don't think you'll be able to either. We have a fucking shotgun downstairs. Just blast the door off its hinges. What if I use the axe? Jesus, Rose, you're not going to put an axe through a door in this house. What's got you bothered about it anyways? I guess Emma's stories. And I'm not lying about something being wrong about that village. The parish, too. 
Even my dreams have felt cursed since moving here. We've uprooted our lives and moved across the country. Everything is new and needs work. I think that stress has got to us all in a way. Yeah, I don't think that's it. I know it seems like there's not much here, but keep giving this place a chance. When it's all fixed up, it'll pay off for you girls. And if you feel isolated out here, there's a town two hours away with plenty of people. Close enough that you both can go there on the weekends after the first few crop cycles. I think we should get out of here now. You could sell enough of what we don't eat and buy what you need. Even afford to place there eventually if you tire of the countryside. But for now, we need to make this place work. We can't afford such fairy tales right now, Rose. I mean, we could have just left, sold the place, just gone. You're right. I don't know, we'll burn it down. Work. Love you, Dad. I love you too. Read some more. Are you fucking kidding me? It's your reading of that fucking book that's got us in this issue in the first place. This is a terrible. You know what? Yeah, whatever. We're cursed. We might as well own it. We're just gonna. We're just gonna go and read this spooky. What the fuck is that doing in here? Uh, why is that here? Uh, okay, I don't like this. This is terrible. This is actually a terrible idea. Let's do it anyway. Fuck. Rumor of Lucilia M. Because that's not a fucking bad omen already. Blood magics in the swine. It's been months now since my friend from the Eastern Village and I entered the home of that man. Perhaps I need a time to truly think about this path I've now taken. It's one thing to invoke spirits with candles and wax, but another to do the same with the blood of a human being. I assumed it would have been easy, but the man put up more of a fight than I thought. He deeply lacerated my companion's face with a broken bottle, so that's why that short guy was injured. It was only after pushing the man down the stairs that he'd break his neck and go quiet. I fear my companion may be disfigured from the ordeal. I told him I'd make him a mask to hide the wounds as my thanks to him. At the moment, I just wanted to go home and forget everything, but we had already gone too far to stop now. I followed the steps Andrew told me in the woods until the final candle had burnt out and the first part of the ceremony was complete, but I felt nothing. Is my soul now bound to this world? If I can die in body but not in spirit, where do I go? I've been meeting with my companion and his superstitious friends frequently at the Historic Society after the night. It's been teaching them how the cerem oh about the ceremonial magic and all the secrets spoken to me by Andrew. They've slowly grown to trust me and admire my knowledge of the esoteric, though people around the town have noticed our gatherings and begun gossiping. One evening they were replying to me, a young woman spat at one of my followers and called him a pig. Given the cruelty of people, perhaps it's a compliment to be called an animal. I've been referring to our group as the swine in the spirit of that remark, and have begun making masks to protect the identities of new members, even from each other. I have given each of them detailed instructions on the second part of the ceremony to perform in the event of my death. Though all this work and sacrifice will have been for nothing if someone finds out about what I did to that man in the house that night. I have grouped up Sikutia Makutia, the hemlock plant, and poured it into wine bottles. I made sure to recork them and mix the wax back on so no one knows they've been tampered with and placed them in my cellar. If I believe my swine are no longer trustworthy, I'll host a gathering and serve it to them. Shit. Once they succumb to the boys, I'll bury them in the woods one by one if I have to. I've done everything to, I can to preserve my spirits. It all depends now on my new coven's loyalty to me and in performing the second part of the ritual correctly when the time comes. So she straight up is planning to poison her friends. Yikes. Okay. Are we getting another nightmare? Yes, we are. Oh, no. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, what the fuck? Okay. These damn door mechanics are actually just so off-putting. Holy hell. Rose? Emma? Uh-oh. That's not good. Oh, there's chains on the door, too. Oh, and there's uh, Lucilla. And a bunch of shit is blocking the stairs. It's leading us to the basement. Oh, no. 
I don't like this. I really don't like this. Emma, where are you? I'm down here. We really shouldn't go this way, if I'm being honest. We should leave. We should really leave. Okay, oh no. Um... This feels wrong, honestly. I don't think it's safe to go over there. You were right. I think we should get the fuck out of here. Oh, hello. Emma, get over here. It's okay, Rose. She's the friend I told you about. Lucilia. Oh, okay, yeah, we kind of figured that, but you should probably- Get away from her, Emma. We're leaving right now. She said she wants to show you something in the back room. Come on. No. This is a fucking awful idea. This isn't real. I'm dreaming again. I don't think I should go in there. I think I should just leave. You're fucking right. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, okay. Where? Why are the paintings of our family in there? Yeah, okay. So how the hell do we get out of here then? Will the door maybe be unlocked, or the, that chain's door be unblocked, because we... Where are you going? Going away from you, you fucking crazy bitch. Well, let's get the fuck out of here. So yeah, I wonder if the chains on this door are unblocked now, because we decided to leave. Oh yeah, the door's open, and it's our room. Okay, cool. Let's get the fuck out of here. Kind of fucking spooked. What's this doing here? I don't know, but I don't like it. Look at this. Which I should have read, but I didn't. An event has changed your fate. Oh, okay. So that's like a per pivotal story moment. We follow the spooky ghost or we don't. I see. <laughs> yeah, I think it's for the best that we don't follow it. Let's be fair. That's a terrible idea. All right, we awake then? Yeah, we're awake, okay. There's more knocking on the walls. I'd stay in bed, honestly. Go the fuck to sleep. That's a great idea, yep, good job. Okay, so... I'm assuming that the story elements to help the cult member guy, as well as resist Lucilia's influences in the dream, are kind of like... What's gonna cause us to have a different ending? Like, I think we didn't resist her in the first dream. Oh, another chain is broken. Because she said, don't disobey me, go light the candles, and I did that. So, if we did disobey her and move forward, that might have been the thing. We helped the cult member, so maybe he'll help us later. And now we didn't follow her into the dark. We escaped. At least that's what I'm thinking is going on. I'm not sure. We're in chapter three now. Two months later. I think what we'll do is we'll finish it here then. And then start on chapter three tomorrow. Or next episode. Alrighty. So, as I said, we've gone and um, left it there at the chapter three screen. So we'll be back to that in the next episode, boys. This game is getting better. Um, some of the voice acting and the door jank is really just getting to me though. That's the only thing I don't like about this right now. Other than that, the game is very spooky. Largely, unfortunately as well, this chapter was the demo content with a few changes. But I guess we got to see the end of chapter 2 as well. So that's pretty cool too. 
Um, I'm kind of excited to see what happens with Chapter 3. So far, this game is pretty good, and I'm liking it. But uh, I guess Chapter 3 will make or break it. I hope, however, you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please make sure to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel for more spooky horror content like this. If you want to play Witching Hour, there will be a link in the description below, as well as a link to Vincent Lade's Twitter so you can follow him as well. I don't know why it's saying we can't continue anymore. It's probably because we finished the chapter and we have to load the game. I'm not sure. But uh, for now, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now. Oh, what the hell? Strange drawing. No sign of my hair clip in here anyways. Oh, are we the possessed ones or maybe Emma is possessed? That looks like some spooky demon shit right there. Uh, Jesus Christ, she is just glued to me. Kid, can you can you go away? What the hell? <laughs> there's the key. Oh, there's a small fella. Hey, buddy. Are you stalking me? You spooky ghost? Oh, fucking hell, man. Really? Okay. He isn't gonna talk to me anymore. All right, cool. Let's get the fuck out of here. And then we can use the pliers on here. He and then we... Oh, fucking hell, dude. Can you not? Oh, hey. How's it going? rather not if I'm being honest mate I'd rather not if I remember the there she is you little shit come back here but if I remember the demo we uh we got Lucilla's grimoire I fucking knew it read some more are you fucking kidding me it's your reading of that fucking book that's got us in this issue in the first place this is a terrible idea. You know what? Yeah, whatever. We're cursed. We might as well own it. We're just gonna we're just gonna go and read this spooky What the fuck is that doing in here? Uh why is that here? <laughs>